Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast. And in today's podcast, we're going to have a look at the price action of crypto most recently and what to expect moving forward. Now, I'm going to be doing this from a fundamental viewpoint. I'm not going to be looking at it from a technical analyst kind of viewpoint like Nick does. Um, But, you know, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on what's being shared on social media most recently and what my expectations are and how I think all of this stuff is going to age basically in the uh, attempt to aid people be on the right side of everything that's happening in the crypto space if you enjoy this sort of content mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video Now, it's worth jumping in the Discord. It's absolutely free to join. Link is in the description of this video. Now, there's over 6,300 people in there supporting one another navigate this space safely. It's definitely worth immersing yourself in the Cheeky Crypto community. And there's nothing to lose because it's absolutely free. Don't forget to check out the thecheekyschool.com. Um, some fantastic courses on there to learn Elliott Wave Theory, also to, to be able to you know learn about putting a portfolio together and crypto risk management. So definitely check out those courses if they are of interest. Anyway, let's get down to the desktop. So let's start with social media. We've uh, seen all of these things um, over the last few days. Reminds me eerily of June. Uh, I will give my thoughts and opinions on all of this stuff and how I think it's going to age. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, um, we've had you know a year of bear market, and um, you know historically that has seen us go into a bull market. So it's done now. Um, you know the trend is your friend and all that sort of wonderful stuff. Like I say, and have been saying uh, back in June, you know, a lot of this stuff will become invalidated and uh, I'm very, very confident of it. So look, these are my views. These are my opinions. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. Now, again, another one here. Again, 500 days. The bottom is in. And now we're we're going into the bull market. Um, Again, you know, one of those things. People are going to get caught out. Um, Again, you know, more signs that, you know, the, the bottom is in um, all this stuff being shared on social media. Uh, and it's become very, very bullish. So bullish, in fact, that, you know, the, the dollar can reverse a little bit and it's still, you know, got volume in crypto, which, you know, it's really the US dollar, in my opinion, that has caused this, um, you know, price discovery. It's not really real volume, in my opinion. This will be used... In in my opinion, as an opportunity for whales to get out uh, of positions uh, and buy much, much lower. Um, Just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts uh, and opinions in the comments below. Uh, I got so much hate for this. I was right. Bitcoin bottom was in. Um, So, you know, that's the the 30th of November. Uh, You got the Bitcoin bear market is over from Crypto Rover. Um, But this is how I kind of feel that these uh, are going to age. And um, I am going to cover why I feel that it's going to age, uh, age like milk uh, over the, the, the coming months. And um, yeah, look, I'm interested to get people's views and opinions down in the comments below. Um, it's one of these we were, we were expecting the pump. We just weren't expecting it to be this high. Um, you know, Nick might think different, but I wasn't. Um, so let's have a look at, you know, some of the fundamental things that are happening around the world. So we've got crypto firms Gem- Genesis and Gemini charged by the SEC for selling unregistered securities. The SEC have a habit of doing this with companies that, you know, are struggling. They did this to BlockFi. They're now doing it to Genesis and Gemini, who are both really struggling at the moment and uh, on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, I I question the ethics of um the SEC when it comes to, to this sort of stuff. Maybe they are trying to keep people safe. But, you know, I kind of get the the feeling, just like in the BlockFi case, that the SEC will uh, be ahead of retail investors when it comes to getting these fines uh, when these uh, companies go bankrupt. But, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that side of things. But what I'm going to say here is this is not bullish. This is not a sign to expect this over the next uh, three years, in my opinion. Moving on, and we've got debt-fueled Britain. Almost a quarter of people have 
borrowed to buy food or pay bills in the last three months as average credit balance hits £900. Not bullish. Barrett Homes uh, you know, brings hiring freeze as UK housing market slows down. That's right. Expect a housing crisis. It is slowing down. These are the start, the, the, the signs that, you know, start, you know, to, to be seen as we go into that recession and, and start to feel the pinch. If we're not already feeling the pinch, that is. Goldman uh, job cuts hit investment banking global markets hard. Again, not bullish. Boohoo to cut jobs at London. Not bullish. McDonald's and, you know, McDonald's is uh, a company to definitely look at. It does give you a flavour of, you know, how bad things are or how positive things are looking at what McDonald's are doing. McDonald's pl uh, plans corporate job cuts and restructuring. Not positive. Not bullish. We've got Twitter cuts more staff overseeing global content moderation. Not bullish. We've got US bank forced to uh, fire 40% of staff as FTX fallout deepens not bullish nft marketplace super rare cuts 30 percent of staff not bullish amazon announces fresh wave of layoffs taking total job cuts to 18,000. not bullish bny melon to cut three percent of staff not bullish we've got crypto markets today coinbase announces more job cuts amid market jitters not bullish ethereum software firm consensus to cut upwards of 100 staff, not bullish. Kraken cuts 30% of workforce, not bullish. Orbi cuts 20% of workforce, not bullish. Uh, Crypto.com have also cut staff, again, not bullish. Like, there's a lot to be said here, right, that doesn't sort of equate to what we're seeing in the crypto market right now. And um, look, I kind of feel that this is a bear market rally it's a big one uh you know it might go a little bit higher but ultimately we're going downtown julie da uh, julie brown and uh it's one of those like let me know your thoughts and opinions on what i've shared so far but this is kind of how um i i kind of align with how how this goes we have you know the the upward movement but i do think that we're going to come down and it might not be the the fastest um you know way to the downside but again it could be and uh we're going to bottom out and that is going to be the absolute actual bottom so this for me is kind of how we expect it to to go um maybe we're going to get a, a great opportunity to to sell positions to look to buy in cheaper um but ultimately i don't think we've seen you know, crypto fully play out as we intended uh, and uh, expect it to, to do so. So look, um, I really wanted to just do a video that kind of articulates, I guess, from a fundamental viewpoint, not to expect, you know, this to be the actual, you know, bottom and the, the bull market, you know, kicking off. Is there a chance that I'm wrong? Absolutely, there's a chance that I'm wrong. Absolutely, there's a chance that all these other people are right. Um, but, you know, I will go back to, to June and I would say, you know, June was a prime example of what we're seeing now, the narrative, uh, how quick it's changed. And actually, from a fundamental viewpoint, not much has actually changed. If you enjoyed today's video, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And you know what? I will catch you in the next one. Take care.